This video contains spoilers for the first two seasons of Dark, and trust me, you do not want this spoiled, so, you know, maybe I'll see you back here some other time. Thanks for stopping by. If you have already watched the series, get ready, because we're going to be talking about it. Out of all the incredible scenes in Dark, this is the one that stuck with me the most. Probably because I'm a sucker for epic soliloquies and the ladies. But what about this scene you may be asking? From the other episode 6 from season 2. This is more than just spicy. I almost couldn't handle it. Watching this felt like gazing upon the masterpieces of the Renaissance. And so there's only one way to describe a scene like this. It is divine spice. Yeah. And couple that with the fact that this episode was arguably the best of them all, since it revels in the nostalgia of the characters themselves. Sign me up. You know what? I'm going to do a whole video on this episode. I guess you should subscribe. Wouldn't want to miss that one. FYI, don't actually subscribe just for that one video, because it's not even made yet. Anyways, even with Divine Spice, somehow it's Martha's rendition of Ariadne's thread for a school play that keeps coming back to me when I think of my favorite scene. And I want to know why, because honestly, I'm upset that it's not the Divine Spice. So Martha's soliloquy is doing something so powerful that it somehow tops the story's main love interest making love. Let that sink in. So if we, as storytellers, can master whatever the sequence does that is so intoxicating and mischtig, that was me trying to speak German, then it's safe to say we've all got our next screenplay in the bag. So let's find out what's going on here. This whole episode is about deception, the concealment of identity, lies, false intentions. I'm not sure who this guy is, but he says even Ariadne is deceiving us. And then he exposes the entire audience. And jeder, ob Königs Tochter oder nicht, steht mit einem Fuß im Schatten, mit dem anderen nur im Licht. He's got Bartos shaking in his seat after that midnight meeting with Ikben Noah. But seriously, this whole episode is about deception and not being who we make ourselves out to be. We find out Ulrich's mum lied to Egon Tiedemann back in the day to cover up for her husband's affair, but then Tranta is also covering up some stuff to do with the bunker and time travel. Franziska is hiding stuff that I still don't understand. I feel bad for Magnus, my goodness. He's been a real one in this episode. Ulrich finds out Hannah was the one who falsely accused him of raping Katharina back in the day. Martha lies to Bartos about Jonas. Katharina finds out Ulrich was having an affair with Hannah. Regina claims that Katharina is still a bully deep down, but hides that side of her from her kids. Martha remarks how you tend to know less about your family than you think. And if that wasn't enough, Katharina also makes a phone call to a local radio station to tell everyone that Winden is full of liars that are hiding things from each other. So yeah, this episode is about deception. The play makes it very clear that Ariadne's ability to enchant the audience and fool them is no different than the illusions they themselves project, the lies they tell. Ariadne represents everyone in Winden, one foot in the shadow and only the other in the light. Her white robes, which she uses to deceive the audience, are a reflection of everyone's disguises. And then she lets her disguise fall and says this. Geht das für uns gleich zu Ende? Die da oben haben uns längst vergessen. Sie richten uns nicht. Im Sterben bin ich ganz allein. All the deception has come to nothing. While everyone in Winden is obsessed with finding the truth and concealing their own, Martha is coming to terms with what she believes is the only logical explanation, that Mikkel is dead. And Ariadne's final ruminations on life and death are so powerful because they reveal a profound truth about Martha, that she is broken by the knowledge that Mikkel deserved better and yet was not awarded a fair fate, and that in the end, he alone was left to face it. Yowza, this is getting depressing. Is that even why the scene is so powerful? I don't even really know what I'm talking about. Maybe this scene is so great because it's Martha and the writing is so bold and emotional and the music is intense and it's pretty nuts when all the lights on stage start flickering and Jonas is busy going through a wormhole and it's cathartic when Katharina goes to comfort Martha in front of a whole bunch of people and it's just simple. 
The story gets so complex, and yet this scene is nothing more than a character being vulnerable. The lines of the play reflecting Martha's fear and devastation. It's strikingly profound, and I don't know how it's done. I don't know why it works, or if there's even a reason beyond it just does. All I can do is watch in awe, gaze, and wonder. And I think maybe that's the point. You know what? Screw it. The Divine Spice is my favorite scene. How could it not be? It's so spicy. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, that was nice of you. Thanks. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below because I really want to know what is your favorite episode of Dark? Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Goodbye.